Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 24th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation. So this ETF has been doing really well the last two months, but for the year, it has been doing horribly. So if you look at, the, for example, February, where we basically topped here, it lost roughly 40% of its value. And it has regained, give or take, 27, 22%, 21% of the value. No, not more than that. It's more 27% of its value at this current stage, give or take, the last two, two, two months. So at this point, we are getting uh, significantly overbought. We're also getting significantly overstretched. So a pullback at this, at this stage is almost a guarantee. It is fairly, if we don't have a pullback at this point and it continues rallying like this, we'll have a, a big drop similar to this or similar to that at one point. So a pullback towards the 200 moving average down here at 117, that's kind of unexpected at this current stage. We are closing at the top of the range, so we may see a test of the 150 above it and then drop, but that is to be seen. But uh, both the, Mac, uh, the Bollinger Band and also the RSI are basically screaming that this is both overstretched and also overbought. Otherwise, technically, the Nikolaj MACD is very bullish. The Stochastic is bullish and the, RSI, and the CCI is also bullish at this current stage. So let's look at the DVI. So DVI is uh, struggling to recover from this, um, basically this drop. So we had a really good uh, day on Monday and on Tuesday and on here on Wednesday, not so good. So we basically need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go back to these previous highs. If we break below the 100 moving average, then we're dropping towards uh, the 150 down here at 108 and then 200 down here at give or take 103. Yes, then there's a big drop to the downside. So if you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that uh, we are way off the far from off the middle of the bullish band. So if we were to rally, that's a rally, a give or take 2.9% to the upside. The MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish and oversold, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic has just crossed the second line, but still in negative territory. So let's look at VTI. So this has rallied roughly 0.14%. We're getting very close to the top of the bullish band. Um, not overbought at this current stage. Otherwise, other technical indicators are looking fairly bullish. So if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are probably going towards the 225 and then 230 in the medium term. So let's look at MCHI. So this has tried to rally up towards the 40 exponential and got fairly heavily rejected. We're still up 1.34% uh, and the technical indicators are, most of them are turning around. You can see the RSI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is just underneath the signal line and the CCI is also bearish at this point. So we ran into resistance here in the middle of the bullish band. It could mean that we will roll over and head back towards these previous lows at the uh, 79 and probably to the 200 moving average or 300 moving average down here at 77. But that is to be seen. If you manage to break above the 200 moving average and the 150 and the 100 at 84 would come into play. So let's look at IVB. So also here we're up to 0 0.13 and we are approaching the top of the bullish band. A lot of room to the upside, frankly. Uh, so we have recovered fairly nicely after this massive fall last week. And if we manage to take out, give or take, you know, 426, then we are probably going to target 430. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, the is bullish, and uh, you know, momentum is to the upside at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.